This is for uh, somebody anyway. I just pulled this uh, this one card, the devil card here. First card I pulled out in this ghost deck here. Uh, is, uh, and, then, and then I pulled a three for the challenge. I'm taking, I don't know who's reading this is. It could be for Capricorn. But um, I'm taking this as for somebody the devil was blocking like uh, something in their life. See how he's holding his hand up there? He's like, uh, I don't know, talk to the hand because the horns don't want none. Well, uh, yeah. That's what I'm getting from that. And then, because, and, and, and the only reason I really got it, like, felt like he's blocking something really is because these three cards came right out after. Was blood, they all came out blocked. Was this one, uh, the King of Wands? So, create, that, what I get from that is like, that he's blocking somebody's creativity. And these, like, three, all three, uh, fire, fire, uh, elements came out. And then seven of wands, which is, like, um, losing protection. Like, he's blocking your protection. I'm taking it, like, whoever this read is for. Could be, like, an earth sign or maybe even a fire sign. But these are all fire things that he's blocking. So, like, passionate things. Like, that's, like, your, uh, your will to fight, basically. Your protection, your faith, your, uh. And then this one, which uh, I think surmounts to the, um, I can't remember if these are the queens or the, um, in this ghost one, I'll have to check, but yeah, then there's this one, the, uh, I think this is the queen of wands, would be like, like even your other side, like, uh, like, um, intuitive, like, ability, right? Like, this is like, um, the receptive side of being creative, like, being able to, like, gather ideas or whatever and then the king kind of puts those ideas out right that's the way i see it because uh yeah the the king makes the final decision right but the queen unless we were in having a feminine feminine read or whatever but like a feminist read but um the king uses the the queen usually uh listens and gathers all the intel right because she's a good listener and she's good at uh no, no, it's just the feminine side, the receptive side, right? And then the king is more of the, like, the doer. Like, he takes the information that the queen gathered, and he turns it, he puts it, those, her ideas into motion, right? So that's, like, the, the two-step process, or whatever, the main one, anyway. So, yeah, so he's blocking your protection, your creativity, for whoever's read this is. Um... It could be a Capricorn, but I, I think this just means like the devil is, is blocking this for somebody. Their creativity, their um, protection, and their, uh, yeah, the king and queen of wands and the seven of wands, which is like kind of like protection and coming out of a battle, but with like skills, like having the high ground. If you were, you know, it usually has the guy on the top of the roof there whacking, or he has, he's not actually hitting anybody, but he has like the wand ready, like he can at any time, right? But he's just, he's got the upper hand. Like, so you really want to throw a stick with me? I can just drop him on your head like a, like a shooting star or whatever, so. Uh, and then right after those three, it's like uh, there was this guy, which is nine of wands, which is like, like, I don't know, hitting like a, I don't know, I see it as like a strength, like masculine strength from having like burdens or whatever, and like it's like, yeah, this is like the masculine side of strength, I'd say, like, uh, hmm. Like, from, like, working, like, say a guy who works, like, and he lifts, like, giant logs all day, like, he's gonna look like, like, the, that's the kind of strength, like, that kind of strength, like, you know what I mean? The eight of, or the, yeah, the eight of, um, the, just the major arcana eight strength, the Leo card is, like, uh, the feminine side of strength, you know what I mean? Kind of like king and queen. And, uh, this is, like, means a choice has to be made coming after. This is, like, the one I think that she's balancing those two swords only one of them she can take because she's at a stillmate she uh, can't go any further without making a decision so and this is the eight of swords which this is kind of like an imprisonment though because they don't want to make this choice this is like an imprisonment <laughs> like uh, the way they're seeing this choice that they know they have to make uh, 
uh, it's just, I don't like I say I don't know who this is for but uh, so they decide to like ride in like this is the next one this guy here I'm thinking the guy that has newfound strength from all the burdens that have been that were like meant to uh, <laughs> the burdens that were meant to hold them down or like that were actually used like uh, <clears throat> like say uh the soldiers or whatever, if you're thinking in war terms, like all the soldiers that they sent basically were just somehow making this person stronger. Like the devil was like uh, sending, blocking all this shit, like blocking this person's creativity or whatever. Kind of like, uh, yeah, he was blocking the king and queen of wands, which is like creative, like basically blocking like your networking, everything like that too. Blocking your, um, trying blocking your um protection try and do anyway but i don't think it is because like look at this one it's like uh they're counting they got sending all these soldiers at them is what i'm getting and like uh the devil is, is or whatever the supposing forces the adversary let's just call them we don't have to give them horns we don't have to make them any it's whatever it's resistance right but uh He's standing here, and all, look at all these soldiers coming at him. Or just, it's like he's absorbing them almost, and like they become his strength. You know what I mean? So everything that they threw at, at this uh, individual basically, like, helped them morph into like even like more of a like more of a like threat. Until like it was just like basically they um they created like a fucking overlord that's like in control of them now. Because uh, if they wanted to be, you know what I mean? Because they're so powerful now after s sucking all the beast's energy out of them. That, uh, yeah. Hmm. And they were trying, that's exactly what they were trying to do to this person. Though, you know what I mean? So what they thought they were doing the whole time, they're like, but they're addicted to it. They're doing it out of greed and like lust and like addicted to like sucking on this person's energy but they didn't realize there became a point where like uh they flipped the switch and like they were like actually siphoning all their energy and like transmuting it by the transmutation you know what I mean so well and then uh this is the last two cards I got out of this like after this guy rushes in he's got enough energy he's just like fuck it let's charge the lines or whatever let's go uh Whatever, man. We've got enough of these guys' energy. It's like you can just feel that the 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 battery's getting low, right? Like there's not much left in them. Why would you want to take that? You know what I mean, like, so it's like uh, very sucked out. Like, uh, say, like uh, this person, they could even like be sucking out like the like because they're putting such evil intent into it. When they transmute it, it's like. Uh, mm, like just like um turning all that fucking garbage that they were trying to unload onto them and like turning it into like gold you know what i mean like uh like somehow transmuting it whether it be like if they're an artist like doing a painting or whatever or if they were like um <clears throat> say you're like a rapper like going and getting in a rap battle with somebody and just tearing their head off or some shit like that right so, yeah, so this guy rides in, like, all balls to the wall now. He's like, I had enough, and I'm a little, he's feeling a little pumped up because of this, right? So he just charges in to, to uh, but then there's uh, this. This is what kind of baffles me. Well, it doesn't baffle me, but see how this one is an ace. It's a passionate new beginning, ace of, uh, ace of wands there. And uh, then we got the seven of cups, which is illusions, like, uh, a bunch. So they're trying to distract this person with illusions because their passionate new beginning is like, see how fucking powerful. Like you can't even see him; he's invisible now. It's like where did he go? <laughs> it's like they can't track track this person anymore. They have no more fucking uh, link to their uh, like the like it's been cut off and like cloaked, like almost like uh, you ever seen the predator when he wears puts that suit on like. <laughs> That guy with Arnold Schwarzenegger or whatever, like, he could be, like, just up in the trees there. You don't know. Fucking, he's, he's, they've, he discovered, he or she has discovered a way to cloak themselves, so. I don't know, it's just, I pulled this, this, this read just, like, just now, just for fun, but. 